Hamza gets completely humiliated by this ex-Muslim, now Christian, and tries to run away from the debate. How I read the Bible, don't you? No, no idea. How would I know that? Right. So I'll explain it to you. Yeah. Even if it says what you're saying, okay. it doesn't make it true. Okay. What it does is gives you justification to believe what you believe. I agree. I agree completely. Sure. I like that, actually. You're, actually not, you're not dumb. You're smart. I like that. I like that. Listen, a lot of the people I spoke to today asked some basic questions on logic. They didn't even know what they were talking about. So you left the sun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a Shia though, if that makes you feel better. Just last week, last week? Yeah, not last week. I, I left Christianity on Sunday. Maybe yeah, no, it's not on Sunday, yeah. Maybe it's last week, but I wasn't here last week. A week before, I was debating you. Probably were, yeah. I mean, divine simplicity is still true. God is just triune though. We understand what all I'm saying is here, right, Hamza, is if I've got the verse which gives two persons as God and his spirit, I've given the three subsistent relations in the Old Testament that I believe in. That's yeah. it. The thing is, the problem you have. Yeah. It's kind of a big Go on. Yeah. You're implying based upon your Trinitarian lens. Yeah. That knows what you're doing. So a Unitarian Christian wouldn't read the Bible the same as you. Yeah, and your channels are wrong. No, Shias don't read the Quran you. the way you do. According to you. Yeah, and the same way Shias are wrong according to you. According What's your point? You. I don't know why, no, no, but Hamza, I don't like when people appeal to that other people understand the text differently. In Shia Islam, the Ruhi Qudus is an actual Holy Spirit, not Angel Jibreel. Now, should I then say you can't come to me and say that Ruhi Qudus is Angel Jibreel because the Shia say otherwise? Okay, it depends on what I'm arguing for, isn't it? Exactly, right? So other people's interpretations don't matter. Thank you. Oh, okay, so how would you know? This is an ambiguous statement, what you're saying. These explicit statements. Um, yeah. How do you kind of navigate that? That's, right, that's, that's more, more interesting for me. What are you asking, sorry? Okay, one second, let me just get to where you're saying. Oh, bro, I want to wanna wrap this up, I want to sit down for a bit, my legs are aching, yeah, man. Yeah, I know, they get like, like, <laughs> You know what I mean, they get, get a bit sore, I've been here since about 1pm about, uh, still, so... Oh, tired. Should I, should I just get it? Should I just get it from, from, from my edition I've got it in my bag? I'm just reading it here. From 12, yeah? Yeah, from 12 to 16. And you'll, I'm sure you'll be genuine enough to admit that God is talking. Nowhere in this chapter is Isaiah talking. Well, it is Isaiah talking. It's Isaiah talking, but Yahweh, God himself is talking. And I would argue this is not just, the, this is not just God, this is the Son talking. Jesus Christ, God from all ages. We're gonna jam up because it's God talking and then God says, and the Lord God has sent me and his spirit. Jammed. Trinity in the Old Testament. Uh-oh. But me is God, right? Because God said, I am the first, I am the last. So why is that not Isaiah? Because where, 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 is where is it Isaiah? Show me. Well, why is that? This is all Isaiah speaking. Because, no, no. So Isaiah is the first and the last. He, he laid down the foundation there. So this you're is, taking this and this is what you build it all No, no. Go back. Verse, verse 12 to 16 is what okay. I gave you, Hamza. Now, show me from this verse to verse 16 where no, 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 Isaiah is talking. Because no, no, no. that's God talking. The whole time. It never Listen changed. Listen to me, Jacob. The Lord called to Israel. Listen to me, Jacob. So God is talking, right? Uh-oh, Trinity in the Old Testament. Uh-oh. So here you go. Two persons and the third person, the Spirit. Why are you like? I'm a hyper guy, man. No, I'm autistic. Honest question, honest question. No, I'm autistic. Just autistic. Yeah. I need something going on. Quite work out. Is that how you want to phrase that? Is that how you want to phrase that? There's something going on? I don't really like that, but sure. Well, you like making all sorts of strange noises and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a grown man making fun of a 21-year-old boy. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to be. That's your paranoia. No, it's not. I can no, see you. I'm sorry, I can see you. You know that, right? Okay. I'm looking at you. I can see you. You're, you're making all strange noises. You yeah, remind man. me of a child in my shop. Yeah, I man. The parents. You're right. The I'm your son, man. Oh, I'm your son. Teach me, man. Explain yeah. to me. It's not, it's not it's explain to me. I don't care. Father, father, father. Explain oh, to oh, me. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. First thing. Yeah. Okay. I'll explain to you very simply, very easily. Go on. How I operate. I've never read this before. I can tell. Good. Now, for me to to do an eisegesis on this uh -huh. would be not doing it justice. Mm -hmm. What I would do is very simply. <laughs> Go on. Go to the Hebrew. Go to my standard 
go on. This is my standard eisegesis to a point. But I don't mind going away and looking at it and understanding it and, if, and see if it truly says what you're saying. That's I believe saying. it truly does say what I'm saying. And the beautiful thing is, 48 through 53, the whole time God is talking, and it's actually a prophecy about Jesus Christ coming to redeem us on the cross. Amen. <laughs> right, we all understand what you're saying. That, that escalated quickly. It's true, though. Yeah, the whole time God so. is talking, you get to Isaiah 53, it's finished. His, by his bruises, we are healed. Amen. Oh, you believe Isaiah 53 is talking about Jesus? Absolutely. And 48 through 53 proves that. Did, did, doesn't the one in Isaiah have kids? No, what he says is, if I die, I will see my children grow up. No, no. Now, say he shall see his seed. Yeah, yeah. So what he's talking about there is his children, as in the children of God, those who come unto him when, when in is Christ. That, when has that word in Hebrew ever been used for that? Once again, now are you making an exact word fallacy? No, I'm asking you. Why, why are you on about? That's called an exact word fallacy. Why is it? Okay, so when you ask so for me, an exact what's word. What's that, what's that? So yeah? me asking you for an exact why word. Why special pleading on a word? That's never meant what you said. No, not special pleading. It's special pleading on a word. No. Okay, I'll make it easy then. Can you show me anywhere else that word is used for what you said? I said, I don't need to. You don't need to? No. Okay. So why are you using it then, that way? Because I can understand it that way. There's no, you're no... understanding it that way because of what you want it to say. Yeah, what's the problem right, with that? Right, that's the difference. What's the problem with that? Or, well, the problem is when you ever see this word, it's always meaning literal descendants. Okay, Children. That's cool. You know, you know, just because a word has a general usage, it doesn't imply that's how the person intended it. No, but you have to hold on, hold on, hand. changing it. Yeah, hold on. You want, let me ask you a question about semantics. Do you know how meaning is produced? Yes or no? Do you know how meaning is produced? No. It's, not produ it's, not produced it's not produced by some definition. Is there an example? Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, hold on. Well, you don't have to show me. No, no, Hamza. What I'm saying to you is this. Meaning is produced by the one that uses it. For example, we in the UK, we say there is bare things. Now in America, if I say something is bare, they're going to say empty. If I say it, it's going to mean a lot. Why? Because the, the subject produces the meaning of the word, not some Oxford definition. So you fail to even understand how language is produced. I'm asking you a very simple question. Whenever that word is used in the Hebrew, okay, yeah. when has it ever meant what you're seeing it means? It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter? I just told you, because meaning is produced by the context, by who right. intends so it. So the ones who wrote it, yeah. it doesn't matter how they understand it, it matters how you understand it. Yeah, once again, it's God talking. So if you think God has sons in some physical way, you're going against your own creed. So... No, he's talking about the one it's speaking about. Yeah, and it's talking His about... Server, yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, which is Jesus. No, no, no. You, no, you're, you're important now. Nope. Yes, you are. Sorry, who else died on the cross for our sins? Where does it say he's going to die on your cross for your sins? It literally says, for our inequities he was pierced. Okay, I'll say it again to you. Mm. Where does it say he's going to raise from the dead? You don't have to say that. That's what's no, again. No. That's an exact word fallacy. Again! Do you know how to argue or just fallacies? No, no. You're ignoring what the text I thought you says. Were, Hamza, have you studied books you're, of logic? You're ignoring no, no, wait, Hamza. Have you studied books of logic? No. I can tell. Okay, so? So you don't even know how to reason properly and you want to debate. I don't you. know how to reason. If you don't know logic, then you don't know how to reason properly. Oh, uh, okay. So if the text says something, yeah. right? right, and you're yeah. making it suit you. Yeah. Right. So say that again, sorry? You're making the text suit your beliefs. No. Well, I'm yes, telling, you are. No, no. Well, I'm do the Jews read Isaiah that that's way? That's cool. No, do they? They can't explain it. So yeah, they show. How do they explain it? They've, I've heard Orthodox Jews try to claim it's this guy Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva cannot die and watch his children grow up. Nor can any physical man die and watch his children grow up. Only God himself can die and watch his children, his spiritual children, okay. grow up. That's okay. very clear. So the Jews, so you don't know what the Jews say about it? No, I do. I just they, 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 they believe it's referring to Israel. I know they do. So the seed is, is the descendants of Israel. So that's what they claim. No, that's what they say. But then again, that's their again, position, isn't it? That's cool. Right. So why are you ignoring that? So I don't care. No, why? Because I don't care. I know you don't care, but why are you ignoring that? Because what relevance does that have to me? What? What relevance does that have to me? So I'm saying to you, so you're so making... One second, my mother's calling. One yeah, second. No Hello, Mama. Oh, I don't know if I texted him yet. Sorry, let me do that for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, I right, love, right, love you, Mama. I love you. Bye-bye. Sorry, I'm sure you understand. Honor your mother and all. You know? Say it again, sorry. I'm sure you understand. Honor your mother and all. So sorry about that. Continue, continue. Your mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum called. My mum was dead. No, no, I mean, I'm sure you understand honoring your mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you understand. Actually, I've actually seen what you spoke about with, with your mother, and I thought it was actually very beautiful. I will say what you spoke about. Very beautiful. Oh, sorry? I actually saw some of your videos on your relationship. I actually thought they were very beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy. You, you, said, you said some very honest things. I respected that, actually. 
Yeah, yeah, man. I think I've made a fair case, Hamza, man. I think no, no, I've no. made, You've I made think, a case. I think I've made a fair case. No, what you seem to have done is you make the narrative suit you. No. And when anyone challenges your narrative, you, you say exact word fallacy. No. Yeah, because that's what it is. But, okay. Well, no, no, no. You can't just yeah. make stuff up. I'm not making stuff up. You are. No, I'm not. Why are you ignoring what the Jews say about that verse? Okay. Are their understanding okay. of it? Can the Jews be wrong? It is, I have. It's Can, the Can you be wrong? Yeah. Why do you think you're right? Oh, because I have philosophical justification for my position. What's your philosophical, philosophical justification that Jesus had to die for your sins and raise from the grave? Yeah, so uh, what's your philosophical firstly, reasons? firstly, we understand that the human nature was corrupted and nature is oh, that... We were yeah. created that way. No, no, we were created perfectly. No, we weren't. And yet through sin, Sorry. through sin, through Adam's sin... Uh, you think we create perfect? Yeah, I don't How know. How did Adam sin? Once again, once again, because he had free will. And free will is a good thing. What, what does perfect mean? Yeah, once again, okay, don't equivocate. Because one thing you say is our nature did not contain any of that which would corrupt One second, it. one second. That's what I'm what saying. Was Adam was created perfect, what does yeah. that mean? I mean without any corruption. That's what I mean. Without any corruption? Yeah. Okay, was he created he, with a sin nature or not? No. So how did he sin? Once again, be, no, no, I think you misunderstand what people mean when they say sinful nature. The sinful nature is something we gained upon that. It didn't mean that before Adam was somehow incapable of sin. So he was capable of sin? Yes. Well, so God created him with the ability to sin? Yes, God created the people the ability to do anything metaphysically possible for their nature. Right, right. So God created Adam yeah. with the ability to sin? Yeah. And when he used that ability, yeah. he became imperfect? Yeah, corrupted the human nature. Why? Who said that? When God. did God say that? So when he eats the apple... No, when does God say that? Yeah, once again, I'm telling you. So when well, he eats no, the apple, what, what, what does God say about that? No, where does God say... Will he suffer death because he ate the apple? Okay, where does God say that the nature changed? No, no, once again, stop doing these exact words fallacies. Once again, you need to stop, Hamza. You need to, stop. <laughs> you, you need to explain things a little I bit. I literally am, but you just want to keep going for exact words fallacies. No, no, because you can't, you can't use exact words no, no, fallacies. No, no, for you, example, you, 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 you can. Read, you, yes, no, you can't. Yes, you can. You're reading... You read yeah. the text, you read a prophecy, yeah. and it means exactly what you think it means. But when I'm questioning that yeah. meaning, you're saying, well, you can't ask for the exact meaning. That's not what I said. That's exactly what, I said what, is, you're what I said is asking for an exact word. Every time I question your understanding of something, it's okay, like I'm no exact word fallacy. Yeah, because that's what it is. That's a fallacy! No, it's not. What fallacy is that? Which Whatever it is. Which inference rule did I it's make? It's your Anderin fallacy. I call it the Anderin fallacy. Anderin, yeah. your name? Ananda. Ananda. Yeah. It's the Ananda fallacy. That's great, you made that up though. I so made that's cool. Yes. That's cool. Anyway, is that but the Ananda fallacy. Yeah, well, is that word fallacy is a real fallacy. You think you're going to say the word fallacy to really shut need... you down? Yeah, you can't. because a fallacy right. is that which has failed its reasoning. You can't just make, ex you yeah. can't make your own explanations of things. Why? And just because you said it, you can't. Why? Or can you? Why can't I? You can. Why can't I look at a text and interpret it? Why, can't, why not? You can't. Why not? <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. it's a serious question. Wait, if you are coming to debate but you don't even know your logical fallacies, then how do you know your arguments are good oh, oh, or not? Okay, I'll say it again to you. Yeah. Right. You're, you're using the text and I'm questioning your understanding of that text. Yeah. And you're then saying I'm committing a fallacy by yeah. asking you to explain the text. No, no, you asked me for an exact word. I can explain the text, but okay, you asked for okay, an exact explain word. Explain to me, okay. Cool. Show me so, where you believe, cool. one second, where God created Adam, this, this perfect human being with yeah. a nature that would never die and that. He, yeah. he would live in the garden forever, and then because he sinned yeah. and he uh, ate from the tree, now he's ruined God's plan, and now he's going to inherit sin and his children and his progeny, and the women are going to have periods and childbirth for tempting man and all of this stuff. Yeah, show me this. Give me one this moment. Fall. The fact that the fact that you just quoted it near identical well, to show Genesis me the means that you well, know. Show me the fall. It means that you know. Show me the fall. Okay, so. Obviously, we interpret these verses in light of Romans. So in Romans, it said the wages of sin is death, right? Oh, okay. uh, that's my problem. Okay. So anyway, no, no. Adam you're not bringing Paul to the table. I don't really care. I don't really care about your presupposition. Oh, you're going to tell me what you believe in. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Once again, remember, if you come to me, right, and you say, I've got a tough seal, I'm not going to say to you, I don't care what Mr. Spears says, I don't care what I'm going to You know, Ananda? Yeah. You bring Paul, bring your first witness, Paul. Yeah. Then I'm going to cross-examine the witness. Right? No, no, once again, I'm not debating you on history that I have not studied yet. I'm not told you, I'm a philosopher. Well, I'm going to discredit so the I want to discuss witness. about philosophy. And I'm going to discredit the witness. You can discredit what you want. I'll the philosophy you will still stand. Bring your witness. That's the, that's the point. So anyway, I was, remember, what was my statement to you initially, Hamza? I am justified in my belief 
to philosophical bring justification. Bring, bring Paul and Romans. No, no, no. no. What was my initial claim once again? Okay, I'll say that it again am, to you. Yeah, yeah. You're, no, because you, you want to go there because that's how you know you got a point. You might have a point, but you're running away from the real conversation and the oh, real okay, reason no, I thought no, no. I was justified. You know that's not how it works. It is how it works. You, you make a claim. Yeah. You bring your evidence and your yeah. witnesses. Yeah, and what did I say my justification was? Hold on, Hansa. What did I say my justification was? Philosophy? Yes, I did. So. Do you want to discuss philosophy? No, no. The point here is this. Or can you not you do that? You were bringing... Uh, is your religion you not bringing, answered a metaphysical place? You were bringing place? your first witness yeah. to support your position, yeah. and it's Paul, yeah. so bring your witness. No, once again, I'm just telling you how we interpret that verse in light of that. One yeah, yeah, thing bring to, it, bring it, bring yeah, it. One thing and then, No, no, but this is only fair, and then end Ananda, oh you bring your witness, <laughs> yeah? You bring your witness, Stop and I'll discredit your witness. Stop playing games. I told you what initially, you you remember one more time, initially I told you what? That I am justified in my beliefs no. because of my philosophical justification. I'll say it again to you. Can you talk about philosophy? I'll say it again to you. Can you talk about I'll philosophy? I'll say it again to you. Yes or no? We spoke about Adam, yeah. we spoke about the sinful nature and the fall. Yeah. You then, you then yeah. said, we, do, we understand this verse from Romans, yeah? yeah? So bring Romans. No, because what we're discussing is a metaphysical understanding of the So form. without Romans, explain yeah. it. That's fine, once again. Go Adam eats the apple, he then enters death. It's very simple. What does that mean? Well, it simply means that by eating the apple, his very nature is corrupted. It's very simple. How is that simple? How is it not? How, how, what does it mean? Eating the apple is death? Yeah, so he's told not to eat the apple. Eating right. the apple is a sin. Therefore, by inviting sin, he corrupts his Where very does it say nature. Where that? Ah, he's about to do it again. Well, you keep making stuff up. I'm not making stuff up. Eating apple is a sin. Where okay. does God say that? Did I make this up? Where does God say Wait, that? Wait, hold on, Hamza. Did I make this up? Just did. No, me? Yes. So no one in all of Christians. No, you just made it up now. Hold on, hold on. No one in all of Christians ever had this interpretation? What's that? In all of Christian history, no one's ever said this, just me. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you no, know, but you said I made it up. That's false. This tradition. You just, just now. This tradition goes like all the way to the early church. You know. So that's false. You know, I didn't make it up. You know you need Paul to support you. Maybe. The wages of sin is death Maybe. and all that. And you know you can't talk about philosophy. And you know. So you don't really want to talk know, about my base. So, so, and so you keep dodging simple. it. So you have a witness that supports your understanding of this thing. Yeah. So bring your witness. No, Hamza, one more time. What did I say my prima facie justification was? And I know why you're running. Because your creed is anti-metaphysical. I'm running. Yes. Because I told you multiple times. What does my times. creed have to do with yeah. your beliefs? Because you know you can't talk about metaphysics. That's why. What does why. my creed yeah. have to do with your beliefs? I didn't say it does. I said you, you don't. Did. No, no. What I said is you don't want to talk You're about... You're saying my beliefs have a bearing on my questions to you, but they don't? No. What I said, Hamza, you need to listen close to what well, I said to you. Again. What I said to you. You don't want to talk about metaphysics because your creed doesn't like it. What's my creed got to do with my questions? Yeah. So I'm pointing... What's my creed? Once again, your creed, Islam, the whole understanding generally... What is it? Once again, generally the understanding of various scholars is that entering too much into philosophy is haram. Which creed have I followed? Tell me. No, you're am assuming. I, am I incorrect though? You're assuming. Unless you don't you're, know, do you? Unless you're going to tell me you're an Ashari. You don't know, do you? Are you an Ashari? You don't know, do you? I don't know. There is your position. But okay. is it, is so it the point we're making is this. Let's go back to what we're talking no, about. No, because I want to talk yeah, about I'm my prima... I'm red herrings. Ah, you don't want to talk about my real justification. I'm not going to talk about the things. We're talking about the things no. we're talking about. We're yeah, because you want to stay where you think you've got a point. But I am made oh, the okay. state... Oh, okay. And you're afraid of that point. I'll admit, I don't know about this point. I'm willing to say that humbly. Do you, do you admit if Paul is not reliable, then you don't have a base for it? Sure, that would be true. Good. But that's not my prima facie... I'll tell you what I'll do then, Ananda. Mm -hmm. yeah? You can give me the all you want to give and I'll study it and we can discuss it. But I'll I'm give you my gonna, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? What I don't want to do, and I, do you know what the term ad hoc means? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't want to ad hoc it. That would be, be not good, right? You won't get away with that. But anyway, yeah. No, exactly, right? It would be a bad decision. It would be very bad. Very bad, yeah? exactly. So I'll tell Amen. you what I'll do with you. Yeah. I'll let you go research. Of course. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. Go on. Because you like you, Go on. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Next time I come here, yeah. I'll debate you on the reliability of Paul. Go on. If you, only if you'll agree to debate me on the metaphysics of Islam. No. Then no. Because you get cooked, Hamza. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. You get chopped up into that 99 parts of so good, Hamza. I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. Yeah, so I agree to your debate even though I'm new. No, no. You've been a Muslim for how long and can't defend oh, your creed? Oh, okay. Embarrassing. Oh, okay. I'll defend the, the reliability of Muhammad, peace of No, no, I want you to defend the metaphysics no, of the Quran. I'll defend the reliability of Muhammad. No, no, unless you agree, I'm not agreeing to you. What's the logo? 
Because you know what happened is I'm going to show that your God is composite. I'm going to show that your metaphysics are in error. So truth, truth means nothing to you. No, no, no. Amen. Amen. As you guys can see, Hamza completely just runs away whenever he can't answer the refutation that this smart Christian brought up to him. Now, if you guys aren't aware, I did make another video where this Christian is already making waves in Speaker's Corner. So I'll go ahead and leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description below so you can go ahead and check him out. Um, I think it's very important for us to have a foundational faith, though, when it comes to Jesus Christ, which is to believe in the gospel, the good news that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. But outside of that, philosophy is good because it's something to supplement your faith, but not to fulfill your faith. So I think the way he used philosophy was very great because it is something that we still need as well. It's always good to use history, science, philosophy, things outside of biblical teachings in order to prove or have evidence of the faith to non-believers. But if we're solely relying on the things outside of the word of God, that's where it can become an issue. I personally didn't see that with him, but it's just something to keep uh, note of. Um, but I think he did a really good job at defending the faith against Hamza. And Hamza, I guess he's not really well versed in philosophy or he's just running away because he doesn't know how to answer it. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Christian, Muslims, non-believers. 